Okay, we'll start with the Mustard L87. This is a three extra heavy, seven extra long streamer hook. So, I'll just get some tying thread. loop shank go back to back that so we need the tail so we separate some of these out like so get the older points level Just a couple of turns so I can position it. Oh, needs to be longer. Better. Good. Just hold it in position while I go back. Excellent. It's perfect. Then what I need is our tinsel. at the end and we want to cut this at a oops wrong way cut this at an angle like so I'll just turn that over another turn in there Good, and we'll go up. I want to trim the ends of those off, like so. And we we'll go up the hook shank. there and what we need is some floss I like to use real silk it uh, doesn't fray like crayon or synthetic silks so we'll just tack this in there like so then what we want to do is put a whip finish in. Put that on my bobbin holder. Now before you start wrapping your silk, what you want to do is just flatten it and get any twists out of the silk that may be there. and they will go it's much easier to do this unless it's a exhibition fly you want to do uh, this is more than adequate for doing the silk on fishing flies and just rotate your vise now be careful that you don't catch the hook point with your silk because that will throw a 
spanner in the works. Flatten it out again. And when we go back up, towards the hook eye, after a few turns keep flattening it out, there we are, and we'll just get our tying thread back from the bobbin holder and we'll tie that down couple of turns remove that remove that Tinsel rib, keep the turns nice and even, evenly spaced, and try and get all each wrap of tinsel at the same angle. Good. Then what we need is a throat hackle. So I just tie that in. There. That. Then we'll just fold the fibers back. I like to do a full hackle here rather than a false hackle. it gives a lot more body to the fly. Let's go into there, tie that off. Get rid of that. So wet our fingers. Divide the hackle. Pull it down each side. Like so. Then what I do needs to be a little bit more wet now. Just wet the hackle like so. Put a bit of foam on. on it to hold it in position and let that dry for a few seconds. I 
Okay, while that's drying, I've selected two jungle cockeyes and I'll just pull these through a little bit of wax to prepare them and then I pull them through my fingers after through the wax like this. Do both of them and I've prepared four hackles from a whiting American hackle cape, two from this side, two from this side, so they concave the correct way. Let me take that off now. See the throat hackles looking good. Take my four white hackles for the wing. Stitch those in with three or four turns. That's looking good. Before I go any further, take a drop of cement or varnish, plop it on there. down, work our way up, take our jungle cock eyes, to the other side, personal preference you can have them pointing straight or a little bit up on the wing that's the first one oops take the second one Good. Remove the make sure that you cover all the stem of the jungle cock. finish and then all there's left to do is uh, varnish the head and there we have it there's the finished black ghost cracking fly Thanks for watching.